very first solo exhibition. This was a really longed for opportunity, his, his big break. He was completely crippled by performance anxiety and he felt unable to come up with something that would um, rise to the occasion. He locked the gallery door and put up a little plexiglass sign that read in Italian, be right back, as if the gallery attendant had just popped out for a coffee or to do a little chore. The visitor was never allowed into the space and there was nothing to see if they had been let in. So there was this perpetual refusal to show work, to create work, and that was the first of those projects. There's an early work from 1991, which is a genuine police report um, listing the theft of an invisible artwork from Maurizio's girlfriend's car, which by all accounts the police took completely seriously. Maurizio's strategies of evasion have at times bordered on criminal activity. Rather than create a work, he decided to break into a nearby gallery and steal the contents of another artist's exhibition and then take the loot back to De Appel to show us his own work. The, the police had been called in. For a moment or so, there was a possibility that he'd be arrested. And I think if he had, it would have pleased him no end. The loot had to be returned and I believe that the um, director of the museum had to actually intervene with the authorities to keep Maurizio out of jail. It's never about asking, it's about taking it, <laughs> seizing it. Stealing it. Yes. 